Hey folks, it's Brian and it's time for another Jeep video. This is Jeep 52 and we're going to put the oil pan back on, but first we got to put this brace back on. So we're going to go ahead and pick this up and set it in place. And just got to start screwing these nuts. That sounds dirty. I did replace the uh, oil pump and I also changed the rear main seal. Uh, it is much easier to do it with the engine out. I recommend uh, doing that while the engine's out if you're going to do it. I did not put in a high volume pump. Um, the oil pump is designed to produce a certain amount of pressure. Putting in a high volume pump um, actually has the opportunity to accelerate your wear, so it's just not a good idea, in my opinion. Now, if you are running an older engine, you don't want to rebuild, that would be a good reason. Again, my opinion. Everybody is entitled to have different opinions. So we're going to um, use this to save some wear and tear on my fingers. Okay. I'm just snugging them up and then they're going to get torqued. You would not want to set these with an impact wrench. This is a 14 millimeter socket, so I'm going to get a larger one if I can find it. No, I'm going to have to reset the I'm going to have to, I only check the torque settings uh Up 
I'm probably gonna have to go look it up. Be right back. I gotta go get the, the sheet so I know what to set these to. All right, they go to 35 foot pounds. So let me uh, set this to 35. Unlock it. I think it was 35. Yes, 35 foot pounds. At this point, got a little bit of cleanup to do. So now I'm going to hit it with acetone. using acetone because it evaporates and leaves no residue. So it's an excellent cleaner. I've got a little bit of RTV that needs to come out, so. I'm gonna take a razor blade in my hand. gently scrape it away.
Unfortunately, nobody gives their engines these kind of the attention. And with gaskets, it's all about prep, at least in my opinion. Nothing there, nothing there. Foreign matter. Take a look here. Let's see what we got going on. First things first, let's get some acetone and let's clean off the gasket surface. Seen all sorts of crazy, horrible things done on YouTube where people take abrasive pads and sandpaper and all sorts of bullshit to this, all of which is wrong. You know, it's a sealing surface, and if you want it to seal, you need to degrease it. Sure sign they've had problems with this before, it's covered in RTV. Because I'm putting this together upside down, I'm taking care to get all the grease out of the pan. But normally, I don't know that I would do this if I was doing this with the engine in the vehicle. Um, what I'm, and then I've got some issues up here that this has got to come off. This old RTV. I'm using my thumbnail and I'm using just pressure to get the RTV out.
don't think we're done. to get the last little bits of RTV out of here. This pan is greasy, greasy, greasy. One more wipe down and we're good. Oh, I've got some RTV up here, so let me deal with this. I didn't see this. good there. Let me stop and figure out what the instructions are for putting the gasket in. So I'm almost ready to put the oil pan on, but first I've got a fucking eraser in the number six cylinder. So I gotta spin the engine over to get that damned eraser out. This extra oil comes flying out of here. Oh well, it's gonna be a kitty litter kind of thing. Where'd that damn fucking eraser go?
There it is. So that's why we just dumped oil on the floor. So now we're going to flip it back over. And now we'll have to wipe down the block again. No big deal. I'm going to just breathe in, breathe out. So, there are two other things I need to do. Now, in an ideal world, I would have the right oil for this engine on hand, but I don't. And I have to prime the pump, but it's going to be a while before this engine runs, so I'm going to just go ahead and dump oil in the pickup. Places that need RTV. So you need a little bit of RTV here. A little bit's the operative word. And then back here. You gotta fill these little gaps between the rear main seal and the bearing. I mean, it's just the shittiest. This this could have been fixed, but I guess it would cost more um, for them to uh, have actually fixed it. I mean, it, it would have required changing the block. And that's the difference between American cars and German cars is the Germans actually will fucking fix shit. They don't do half-ass work like this. All right. Now this is a nice one-piece gasket. You really do get what you pay for, kids. This is a Felpro gasket. I mean, it's you really do get what you pay for. So this all looks good. Now, Felpro even includes these really cute little snap to de doo da things. And uh, I don't need them because I'm working um, with the engine upside down. not all the holes are the same size and I got lucky on the first one that's what she said so I just want to kind of keep the gasket in place as I do the next magic trick oh this is greasy nasty if you're supposed to put RTV on this side too. It doesn't say anything, and this has got silicone. No, RTV is, I don't think so. I think this will be fine. 
And if not, I'll pull the fucking engine and eat those words. But it'll be on a cupcake. So don't get your hopes up. All right. Pretty sure. Okay, we're getting there. slow but you don't want to strip any of these I can't imagine why anybody would use a three-piece gasket it's fucking stupid I mean yeah the single-piece gasket 
is a little more expensive, but so is redoing the job. So I got one that doesn't want to fit. So, my two front ones. These are very nice. this piece of shit up before I put it in so I gotta stop and find some rags all right so we just want to get the grime oh, I didn't realize it was flexible but yes apparently this is a flexible product did not know that appears to have a piece of rubber in it. Seems like your nose always itches when you're doing something that you shouldn't touch your face. Alright. <clears throat> While we're on the subject of things you probably shouldn't do, you probably shouldn't throw oily rags or acetone soaked rags into your garbage can. Uh, but these are going to go out in the trash so if it catches on fire it's not my problem. We're going to retire that. So one of the things that's really cool about these little uh, guides is they have a screw tip in the end of them. So 
almost like they knew these would be a pain in the ass to get out. I just love it when I see an engineered hack because that's what this strap is. This strap is an admission that there is an oil leak at this location and that they weren't able to do shit about it. Now that's bent, so we're gonna unbend that. So, best I can tell, this lip goes against there. All right. This would be an absolute pain in the ass to do with the engine turned over. I mean, I would be saying, motherfucking piece of shit, goddamn Chrysler fucking Jeep pieces of shit engineers. Oh, hey, wait, I'm saying that now anyway. But yeah, I would really mean it. Because this would be very, very difficult to do upside down. I still think it's a shitty design. I think you could make some minor improvements to this and have a substantially less leak prone interface. And it's not like this is a 12 cent fucking product. Alright, so let me see what the torque setting is and we'll get busy torquing. Okay, so all the little bolts go to 84 inch pounds and the big bolts which are here here and back there on either side of that hack go to 132 pounds which is you know i mean again i just don't get it 132 inch pounds yeah so we're at 84 so we're going to do all the little ones first not with this. Yes, because these are 12, not 13. Actually, I don't even think they're metric. I think these are I think these are um, standard. I think they are seven sixteenths standard. I'll stop the camera while I look for that. Okay, they are 7 sixteenths, and I did find the socket. Uh, I'm going to need an extension at some point. Mm, no idea where it's at. I'll uh, pray for it here in a minute.
That one seems stripped. I suspect most people don't bother forking these. bring them all to this level. Okay, let me find a deep 716s. Alright. So, let me double check the location of these. Uh... So these go to 11 foot-pounds, which is 132 inch-pounds. So do the back ones.
Okay, so I'm gonna double check the ones in the front. successful video I do appreciate you watching I hope that uh, you enjoyed this and that I hope I hope it benefits uh, somebody's project um, besides mine so uh, one more thing I have been saving a Fumoto drain plug for this engine since I bought it so these are easy change uh, um, drain plugs. Uh, I think that's 11 sixteenths. It is not. And it's not 9 sixteenths. That makes it 5 eighths. Let's see. Five eighths. That is destined for a recycle bin. I've never used one um, once I've taken it out. This will make my oil changes that much easier in the future. These are about $20 and uh, they make it very, very easy to change your oil. And before the armchair brigade of experts gets after me, these are approved by Caterpillar, Cummins, and Detroit Diesel for use in their engines. And while this, these Jeep engines do run rough, they don't run any rougher than that. I have probably hundreds of thousands of miles on these drain plugs. Let me see what the torque was for that. Yeah, well, whatever it was, that's tight enough. Yep. So all you do to release is open it and all, that's all you do to close it and it comes with a key so if you're worried about it opening when it's not supposed to you can lock it with a key and that stops it from moving. Awesome tool. Awesome, awesome thing. Makes doing your own oil changes so, so much simpler. So uh, I'm going to turn this engine upside, right side up. Yeah, maybe we'll come a little closer. This damn thing is so stable, the stupid pin's been out the whole evening. Or at least since I turned it upside, right side up last time. But we're not going to take any more chances. We're going to lock it in and um, we've got some stuff to do on the top. So thanks for watching. I really do hope this helps with your project. Please remember to let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, subscribe, hit that like button, mash that bell so you find out when I new, release new uh, videos. And uh, thanks again. Have a good night.